Hey guys, this is going to be a video explaining how to make the piston tape block swapper. So, in the original video, uh, I think I said that it worked as intended, it spun the correct ways, but in actuality, it didn't. So, uh, in addition to that, I've improved the design quite a bit. It's, it's actually one block wider, so that's pretty interesting. So, to start off, place down your frame and then two buttons, one on either side. This one's going to spin it clockwise, so in other words to the right, and then this one's going to spin it the opposite way, so counterclockwise or to the left. Uh, so you place a two redstone and a block in between that, then a repeater, skip a block, then another repeater. Uh, set the second one on the second delay, place a block in between, and a redstone torch above that. Cover up these redstone bits with blocks and then uh, oh and then torches on those blocks. After that let's just go ahead and place one sticky piston on top of that redstone torch. Dig out two blocks in front of each of these side torches and place redstone. And basically what we're making here is a monostable circuit. Uh, in a bit of a different way, so it uses the delay uh, for both of them instead of uh, making two separate ones. So extend the redstone out in the opposite directions and put torches on top of those the block in, in front of the redstone. With that, you can, you can see if I click this button, this torch will flicker on and off, and the piston in the middle will retract and then extend. Same thing here, only it'll be this torch. And that's the basic mechanic for this. Now we just need to set up the pistons. So, uh, decide how many blocks you want to be there in your piston tape. Uh, so in our case we want there to be 12 um, blocks and with one being what's that? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, 12 blocks with one of them being glass. Uh, therefore we need 24 uh, total. So we need to divide that by 4 and then count to the left and the right. So in our case it's going to be 6. Uh, so step 1 to the left, say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then go behind 1 and place pistons like so. Do the same thing on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1 in front of it, and then our pistons. It should look like this. Make sure the pistons are behind your frame, because that's that I messed up a few times on. So there you go. Now we need to wire up the redstone to these pistons so that we can uh, control them. So. The bottom and the top right need to be connected to each other, and then the bottom right and the top need to be connected to each other. The way we do that is through the use of repeaters. So we're going to be powering the blocks next to these pistons, just like that. Now we need to connect these repeaters together, and we can do that by putting redstone uh, between them. So now if I power this, you'll see both of them extend. And ignore any uh, redstone glitches like that. It's not important until later. Next we need to wire up the other two and we're going to use the same technique with repeaters going into the blocks next to them and then we're connecting them on a diagonal with redstone. So we'll just do that on the other side right here. Same thing, just reversed and then to here and then the diagonal 
So that's your system so far. Once you're done with that, put repeaters going into each of these top sections and then wire them up to the output of the monostable circuit, aka this torch. When we press buttons, they should activate one set of these pistons. So in this case, it's the opposite one. And then now we need to hook up this torch to this redstone and then this torch to the other set. So it's kind of like a crisscross, and that's the most confusing part of this. So be sure you do this right. So place a set of blocks above the torches, and then a set of blocks beside the torches. And now just cover that all in redstone. Next you need to just decide quickly uh, which row belongs to which torch. So I'm going to say this top row belongs to this torch. So I'm just going to make sure the torch doesn't affect the side row by using a repeater here. And then we'll just do the same thing on the other side. And now we'll just cut these wires so that they're completely separate. Once that's done, it gets a bit simpler. We just need to connect this repeater down here. Now we can do that by bringing out the signal and then bringing it up. And so we can do this, but cut this wire and this wire. On the other side, since it's on the inside, it's a bit simpler. All we need to do is put redstone in front of the repeater and then cut that off. With that, each button should activate two sets of pistons. And it probably is pretty confusing. You can't really see what's going on because of a few piston glitches. Uh, and that's just because everything's activating at the same time. So now we need to add delay. So before we do anything, uh, we're going to want to move horizontally and then vertically. And that's because we want the block to be switched first. Um, yeah, so to do that, we're going to decide well, if we're going counterclockwise here, it's going this way and we want this piston to go first so this set of horizontal piston this one and the bottom one over there need to be on one delay and then the other repeater in that set right here needs to be on three uh, that's the only thing you need to figure out here because after that you can just say well these two top repeaters are going to be on one delay and then this one on the bottom and that one on the bottom are on three then on the other side it's just switched so this is three and then those on the bottom are one so I hope you got that uh, now we're gonna just quickly test it out and here it is so right it's going correctly you can see this piston right here is going to be extended and then that one and all of that. And this one. Now it's probably hard for you guys to see what's happening, uh, so I'll just fill in this with blocks uh, and that'll help illustrate what I'm saying because it's actually working. So basically filling it in. Um, now this is another thing that might break your um, your piston tape. If you fill in all of this with blocks then some of the pistons here will just get shoved aside. That's bad. So we want to make a parallelogram shape not a trapezoid shape. This would be a trapezoid shape. We need it to be a parallelogram like that. 
After that, we can test it out. As you can see, it's going clockwise. I'll put another block here just so you can see that better. Or, this one's going counterclockwise, but yeah. It's going the right way, and this one reverses that. So that's it for the actual mechanics, and if you want to add in a uh, a glass kind of detector, a transparent block detector to this, there are two places, one's here and one's here. Basically, if you want to do that, you'll dig underneath the blocks next to this uh, interface, put a torch down, uh, and then put redstone on the inside part of these two blocks, uh, put a redstone torch on the side of it, and cut that wire. From here you just bring the signal down and to wherever you want. Uh, so like right now there's a solid block. That redstone there is off. Right now there's a transparent block which is air and this is on. And I'll just show you that you can do that on the other side fairly easily. So torch, redstone on the inside, cut it off and then another redstone torch and everything works so there you go um, this should be a bit easier to understand now uh, I hope you guys enjoyed what happened there oh there we go accidentally took a block out and there you go everything's working perfectly fine um, one interesting thing that I just want to note if you take out one block, then it's going to cycle every two. One, two, and then another. So, yep, that's it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I uh, hope that was a good tutorial. So, yeah, thanks for watching.